Good morning. Let's start feet hip width, knees relaxed, hips in line, shoulders back and down, crown up towards the sky, chin parallel to the ground. One hand on the chest, one just below the ribs, breathing in and out through the nose, aiming the in breath to the lower hand. So welcome to Omaha Beach, which is a beautiful white sandy beach just north of Auckland. So bring the arms down, we're going to come up onto the toes as we inhale, reach the arms up, exhale, control back down onto the heels. So inhale, coming up, belly button squeezed in, exhale down, inhale, reaching up onto the toes, exhale down, inhale, lengthening up, exhale down. One more inhale and keep breathing. Now staying on the toes, bring the arms shoulder level. And we're just going to do small circles with the arms. We're trying to keep the arms straight. Remember using your focus point, something still to stare at. And then we'll circle the arms the other way. Still staying on the toes, we're going to do bigger circles with the arms. And the other way. Bring the arms down, come down to the heels, legs nice and wide, forward bend, the toes in line, hands on the hips, inhale, exhale, bringing the body forwards, trying to keep the back straight, and coming back to standing, inhale, exhale forwards, Aiming to get the body parallel to the ground if we can. And coming back up. Inhale. Exhale forwards. And coming on up. So now we're going to add a back bend. So palms into the lower back. Inhale. Exhale. Look up to the sky. Inhale, exhale forwards to that halfway point. And back to standing. Inhale, exhale looking up. Inhale there, exhale forwards. And back to standing. So one more inhale, exhale look up. Inhale, exhale forwards. Now either stay halfway or bring the hands down towards the toes. Now we're going to add a twist. If you haven't done it before, you might want to watch it first. If you have, then we're going to take the right hand to the left foot. Bring the left arm up. And we'll twist a little further and take that arm round the back. We're trying to get the left shoulder pointing up towards the sky. And we'll swap to the other side, so left hand to the right foot. And bring that other arm up. Twist a little more. Arm round the back. And then coming back. So if you feel okay here, we're going to take the bend a little deep, deeper. So bend in both knees, I'm going to inhale and then as you exhale straighten the legs. Again, so deep bend in the knees, inhale, exhale straighten. And then we'll bend both knees, roll on up through the spine. 
So I'm going to twist through the spine now. So take the feet just a little bit wider than the hip width, fingertips to the back of the hip. Try to twist into that thoracic area around the chest, keeping the lower body still. And just a little movement. Just waking up that part of the spine. Now let's twist at the waist, see if you can feel a difference. Twist right through the hips. And bring the arms down. So we'll do the kidney tap. So just make a gentle fist with the hands and we'll tip tap the opposite shoulder and either side of the spine. Slowing it down, bring the arms down. And get ready for a balance. You're standing on the right leg. Bring the left leg up. Thigh parallel to the ground. Just try and straighten up through that standing leg. And we'll take the right hand to the outside of the knee. If you need to bring that left arm out, you can. We're going to twist at the waist towards that bent leg. And then bringing the other arm up, parallel to the ground, and looking to the hand. So just wherever you get to. So you might just be at stage one, and that's all good. The other side. So bringing that right leg up. You're taking the hand to the knee. Remember, if this is as far as you get, that's fine. We twist at the waist, bring the arm up, and look back to the hand. Come down. So we're going to do two more each side. Move that left leg up. Right with the breathing. So inhale. Exhale, hand to the knee. Inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, bring the arm up. Inhale, exhale, look to the hand. So come down. The same again. If the breathing doesn't work for you, then just try whatever does. So if you're going to follow me, we'll inhale, exhale to the hand. Inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, bring the arm up as you exhale. Inhale, exhale, look back to the hand. So keep breathing. I'm going to do one more each side. So you can have the knee bent again, or if you can't, take hold of the foot and we'll try it with a straight leg. You may just want to try with the balance and not worry about bringing the arms up. You'll just see wherever you get to. And coming down. Alright, standing pose. We will do extended side angle. So with the legs nice and wide, we'll turn that left foot 90 degrees, back foot slightly angled. Good bend in the front knee, shoulders above the hips. We're moving sideways, so the forearm is on the thigh. And we're bringing the right arm up 
and over. So we're trying to keep the arm close to the head if we can. We've got that diagonal line and maybe looking up to the sky. And breathe. And come on up, swap to the other side. We turn that right foot 90 degrees, left foot angle. Good, bending that right knee so we can bring the forearm to the thigh. And then we'll bring the left arm up and across. And turn the head, looking up. Or whatever stage you're at. And coming up, so I'll do one more each side, but I'm going to add the bind. So I'll, I'll show you from behind. Okay, so I'm going to talk same side. So turn the left at 90 degrees, left knee bends, and bring the right arm up and across for the basic or if you want to bind right hand behind and the left arm under the thigh trying to bring the hands together but remember do not strain this is just something to try and if you're not there yet do not get frustrated so turn in that right foot bend in the knee and just keep that sideways movement you can either bring the arm up or for the bind, you take the arm behind the back, the right arm goes under the thigh. Make sure you're still breathing. And carefully come on up. Alright, another bit of balance. We will bring the right leg up, the knee bent. And we'll just see if we can straighten that leg out in front. And then bend the knee. So inhale, exhale, straighten. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale, straighten. Bring that leg down. It's not the easiest of ones, I must admit. So inhale, exhale, straighten the leg out in front. Inhale, bend the knee. Exhale, straighten, inhale, bend. Exhale, inhale, back. Exhale, straighten, inhale, bend. One more, exhale, inhale, and coming down. So one more standing pose. We, in fact, we'll do a couple more standing poses. We'll start with the high lunge. So left foot is forward, right foot back with the right heel up. A good bend in that front knee. So keeping the hands to the chest if you want to, or we can bring the arms up. Now if this feels challenging enough, just stay here. Or I'm going to look up to the sky, bend deeper into that front knee, and slightly arch the back. And carefully coming on up. The other side, right foot forward, left foot back, left heel is up. So staying here in high lunge with the hands to the chest if you want to. Remember, any issues in the back or anywhere else, then do not take it too far. If all is good, try bringing the arms up. And then maybe looking up. Sinking a little deeper. And trying to arch the back. And carefully coming up. So we'll do one more high lunge on each side, but we're going to add the low twist. So left foot forward, right foot back. So you need to be able to sink low into that front knee. 
otherwise it's too difficult to bring the opposite elbow across the thigh. But if you can, press the palms together, fingers pointed in the same direction as the tiles. Notice that upper elbow is up towards the sky. And coming on out. And we'll take the right foot forward, left foot back. And basic high lunge, or we're going to sink as far as we can and then add the low twist. And the opposite elbow goes to the outside of the opposite thigh. We get balanced and then start thinking about pushing the hands together, upper elbow towards the sky. And come on up. We're going to finish with some wrist movements. And let's bring that left arm up, shoulder level, and then pull the fingers back with the right hand. So feel that stretch underneath the wrist. And point the fingers down and pull back towards the body. Again, fingers pointing up. And fingers pointing down, gently pulling to get that stretch across the top of the wrist. So on the other side, right arm up, pull those fingers back with the left hand. Fingers pointing down. Again, fingers pointing up, gently pulling back, and then fingers pointing down, and interlace the fingers, and we're moving through the wrist like a figure of eight, and then going the other way, takes a little bit of thinking about. Alright, now bring the left arm across with the palm facing away, right hand over the top, fingers interlaced. Now go carefully with this. So bend the elbows, have the hands pointing down, then towards the body, then up. And that might feel enough of a stretch, or you can even bring the arms out straight in front. And then come back through. You're just taking it easy, seeing how far you get. Do not Push this movement and then coming back. So you might find one side a lot easier than the other. So we're going to do it again on this side. I know for me, I have to move the thumb out of the way for this for this side. So I'm going to swap over. And bend the elbows, hands pointing down, then to the body and up and through and coming back and back through try and straighten the arms or whatever you get to just feeling a deep stretch in the wrists and the forearms and coming back through and one more and shake the hands out And we shall finish with the good posture and the breathing. The shoulders back and down, crown to the sky, chin parallel to the ground, placing one hand on the chest, one just below the ribs, breathing in and out through the nose, aiming the in-breath to the lower hand. And just notice if you can feel that belly expanding on the in breath and then falling on the out breath. And we don't force the breath, it just happens naturally. That gentle belly breathing.
bring the arms down and we are all done.